There's a lot of people asking if the Dolphins made a mistake in drafting Tua over Herbert. Let's find out. Well, let's get one thing out of the way. I don't think one game is gonna determine who is the actual better choice for the Dolphins, but I also know that it's probably not gonna matter because I think that this is going to be a really fun, possibly even shootout game. And to be honest, man, I think both are going to be really good quarterbacks in the future. And keep in mind, we still gotta play Justin, uh, Justin Burrow, Joe Burrow later in the season. So the, it'll be fun to watch all these 2020 rookie quarterbacks go up against each other. This is maybe a historic rookie quarterback um, draft class because all of them are doing good so far. And then I don't know, Jordan Love's probably going to do good with the Packers eventually. But anyway, let's get on to this Chargers preview. Obviously, the Dolphins are pretty red hot right now. They're five and three. They just ripped off four wins in a row. The Chargers, well, this is a team that has been like this for years now. They're a very competitive team, but they beat themselves every week. But that does not mean we can push over this team just because they only have two wins because there are a lot of games you can name that the Chargers should have won this year. And again, Justin Herbert is lighting it up with LA. Definitely, definitely not a game to push over, especially as we are right in the thick of the playoff race. You can't look over anybody and especially not these Chargers. This is going to be a really fun game to watch, and we're also going to be in those freaking awesome throwback uniforms. I'm excited for this game. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I do think it's a game we can win, uh, and I think we probably should be favored to win this game. But let's go over our biggest strength, which is going to stay at corners despite... Uh, <sighs> they had fine coverage. It's just, wow, like... Xavier Howard getting all these penalties, Byron Jones letting up a ton of plays, even when he did have good coverage. Like, I just hope they bounce back. I'm not going to overreact because the Cardinals offense is hard to stop, but man, they got to get way better this week, especially against Justin Herbert, who has a very good arm. Uh, and the biggest weakness is going to stay at the O-line. Just in general, it seems like the biggest weakness for us right now, so I'll keep it there. As for the Chargers, the biggest strength is going to be Justin Herbert, no doubt about that. He is lighting it up for them. The offense is rolling. The defense, keeping them in there. <laughs> um, they got some work to do. Now, the Chargers do still have a pretty good secondary, despite um, Derwin James being out for the year, but, uh, but yeah, uh, definitely the biggest strength, no question about it, is Justin Herbert right now. And the biggest weakness is just themselves. I'm not sure what it is in the Chargers to just always give their fans or lack thereof um, a heart attack. And they just charger themselves out of games. And uh, it's very likely they do that again because uh, the Dolphins are a good football team. So, But again, uh, you can't sleep on this team because if we do, that's when they finally get it together. So don't sleep on them. <laughs> Uh, key to victory is, honestly, I would say the secondary's got to step up, but it's, uh, I'm not saying they can't do it. Xavier Howard and Byron Jones are still very good. And, I, and you know what, I'm, I'm even saying they will do that, but in general, I think it just needs to be kind of the same as last week. Like, Tua's just got to keep up with Herbert. I, I, I think I've seen what I need to see in this defense, but I want to see the offense continue to be a little more consistent and uh, especially if you're going to keep up with this quarterback um I just want to see Tua roll a little bit more um and then what to be careful of is the deep ball from Justin Herbert um I know it sounds like I'm I don't have faith in Xavier Howard and Byron Jones it's not that like I mean I put them as their biggest strength still and I really do think last week was just a bit of a fluke but you know just still be careful of that but other than that, uh, this really should be a super exciting game to watch. I'm excited for it. Let me know what you Dolphin fans think, and I'll catch you for the next one.